This short video will provide you an overview of the Tequila Teen and Senior Center work to date, potential site opportunities, and provide viewers a way to share your thoughts on the site location. During this presentation, we will provide an overview of the project, review candidate sites, and share the community champion preferences. Most importantly, the city would like to hear from you on your site preference. At the end of the video, we will direct you to a website where you can vote on your preferred site. Let's get started. Where we've been. The City Council proposed the Tequila Teen and Senior Center project as part of the 2021-2022 budget process. The project team has held more than 65 meetings to date and is currently checking back in with the community on programming. We've been working with community champions, representing many diverse communities in Tequila, to help refine programming and review candidate sites. Here's some information on where we are headed. City staff will brief the City Council in December regarding the program study and outreach report. City staff will continue to engage the community on site selection now and into January of 2022. The community and neighborhood voices are needed on preferred sites. The City Council site selection and decision on the next phases will be the schematic design in early 2022 with the need to select a site to move into the next phase of design. Here's some background on how we determine the potential sites. The direction from City Council is that the Teen and Senior Center would be in the Tequila International Boulevard neighborhood. The project team agreed that any potential site must have a willing seller or be owned by the city. We are committed to no displacement. The project team walked the neighborhood with economic development staff and reviewed various potential candidates. Ultimately, the potential sites were narrowed down to four. The community champions visited each candidate site, developed a list of pros and cons, and ranked their preferred sites. Next, we'll give an overview of the different sites and ultimately how four became two. This slide shows all four site locations. We've put in some landmarks, such as Cascade View Park, the Tequila Library, SARS Grocery Store, the Justice Center, and the schools so you can orient yourself. Let's start with the former motel sites. You may remember that there were two crime-ridden motels that were seized by the federal government back in 2013. Today, the city has an agreement to sell this site to Health Point. They are preparing to develop a new Tequila clinic, administrative offices, and additional community services at this site. While city staff discussed a potential co-development with Health Point, both agencies realized we could potentially bring more services to the Tequila community if we had two different but complementary developments. For instance, while we have heard from the community that more childcare is needed in Tequila, a center for teens and seniors probably isn't the best place for such a facility. However, Health Point is actively planning for childcare at their development. On the other hand, Health Point's senior and teen patients will be welcome to help meet their fitness goals at the new Teen and Senior Center. This is what we mean by complementary developments. This is why this site was removed from the list. The New Porter site is located at South 150th and Tequila International Boulevard. This property is city owned, but to make a teen and senior center work there, surrounding properties may need to be acquired. Staff and community champions have concerns that it fronts directly onto Tequila International Boulevard and that it is the furthest site from the schools. This is the former Star Nursery site, located at 42nd Avenue South and South 139th Street. This site is the closest to the schools, is located in a residential neighborhood, and may have transportation challenges, particularly for seniors without vehicle access. We are calling this site the Bartel Pad. It is located on 37th Avenue South, across from Cascade View Park. We are only talking about the portion of the site in yellow. This site has a willing seller, has great pedestrian access, but would need to leverage the park across the street for outdoor space. Now, remember a few slides ago when we talked about the community champions? The group of diverse community members who helped the project team refine programming and review sites? Here are their thoughts on the three remaining sites. The New Porter site was ranked third, with very little support from the community champions for these reasons. Further distance from the schools, frontage right onto Tequila International Boulevard and safety concerns, site constraints such as size and steep slope, proximity to the Justice Center, lack of east-west crosswalks across Tequila International Boulevard at the site, 
and the site has the potential for other transformation developments with adjacent properties. Because of these concerns and the overwhelming preference of the community champions, we have removed the new Porter site from consideration and are down to two sites now, Star Nursery and Bartell Pad. The Star Nursery site was the first choice of most of the champions for these reasons. Size, opportunity for outdoor space, proximity to schools, shag and apartments, mature trees and landscape, and already in city ownership. However, the champions did identify these concerns on this site. Residential neighborhood with single family homes nearby, transportation for seniors, pedestrian access and lack of sidewalks, and potential gentrification of neighborhood. The Bartell Pad was the second choice for most community champions for these reasons. Located close to schools, shag and apartments, relationship with Cascade View Park, good pedestrian and metro bus access, and adjacent to other amenities such as food, pharmacy, and businesses. The champions also identified some concerns with this site, such as potential impacts on neighboring apartment dwellers and businesses. It is a smaller site with no potential for expansion. Because it isn't owned by the city, there are concerns it may take more money and time, and difficulties including natural elements on site. At the beginning of this video, I said we wanted to hear from you. Here are the questions we are hoping each of you will answer on the online survey located at tequilawa.gov TTSC. Which of the two sites, Star Nursery or Bartell, is your favorite? Why did you choose one site over the other? And what other information would you like to share on where to site the Teen and Senior Center? Please take a few minutes to vote on your preferred site. Here's what's coming next for this project. The project team is hosting open houses and virtual meetings on the siting effort. Visit tequilawa.gov TTSC for more information on the dates and times. The Council is expected to determine a site early in 2022 and also identify funding for schematic design, which is the next phase of beginning to design the building. We are looking to identify a financing plan during the 2023-2024 biennial budget process, which will start in the second or third quarter of 2022. Finally, the project team is committed to ensuring ongoing community engagement through design, construction, and opening of this new community asset. On behalf of the Mayor, City Council, and Project Team, thank you for taking the time to learn about this project. We want to hear from you, so please visit tequilawa.gov slash TTSE and take the survey. On that webpage, you will find a lot of additional information on the project. Thanks again.